Well, everybody, welcome to Game Development Tycoon. This is a game where you develop video games. So, basically what the idea is, is you start back in the late 80s as a developing uh, video game developer, and you basically take your company, work your way up through the ages of video games, and yeah, that's what you're supposed to do in this game. It seems like a lot of fun. So let's uh, go ahead and read what this beginning thing here says. Welcome to Game Development Tycoon. Game Dev Tycoon, that's what that means. In this business simulation, you have been transported back in time to start your very own game development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution. In the next 35 years, you can build your dream company, create best-selling games, gain fans, and become the leader of the market. That's what I want to do. Before you start your adventure, you have to give your upcoming company a name. Oh, we already know what that name's gonna be. It's beautiful! What's a good boss name? Oh, no, I don't like any of these. I like that. Alright, this is my dude. I are a male. My name is Mr. Hill, and that is what you will address me as. Okay, tutorial, yeah, yeah, yeah. Congratulations, you've just started your very own game development company. At the moment, your office is in a garage and you are the only employee. But don't worry, many successful businesses have started out this way. Like mine. Alright, develop new game. Before development can begin, you have to decide what kind of game you want to create and give your game a name. You can also select what graphic technology your game should use. Your options are initially limited, but once you've unlocked a once you have a bit of experience, you'll be able to unlock new options. Huh. Well, this is the 80s, so I'm going to call this thing... Let's see what we got here in topics. Ooh. I would think I can do this. Pick genre. A werewolf game. If it's an adventure? No, I think it'd be action would be better. Uh, for the PC, definitely. Um, werewolf game that's action based. Um, ninja werewolf. Cause why not? Next. Graphics. 2D graphics V1. Because why not? Game development runs through three stages. At the beginning of each stage, you can decide what areas of the game you want to focus on. Picking the right focus for your game generally increases the points you generate. Think about what areas are important for your game and decrease the focus on areas you think are less important. If you want a brief description of the different areas, please refer to the help menu. Oh, well this is an action game, so gameplay is going to be a lot. Engine's probably not going to be that much. Probably going to need some more on the stories. So let's do that. Game development has now started. While developing your game, you'll generate game points which you can see bubbling up. Game points are divided into design and technology. The more points you generate, the better the game will be. From time to time, there are bugs with points generated. These points become less likely once the game experience. Bugs should be fixed before the game is released and increase development time and cost. Right. Yeah, see there's a bug in there. Level design, probably not so much. Dialogues, definitely not so much. But AI, yeah, definitely. Maybe a little bit more. Because it's a ninja werewolf. I mean, you're not going to need a lot of talking. During development, you can also select additional features. You can only pick basic sounds. Okay. You can see the graphic type when you selected when you defined the game. This is just to remind you of your choice. You can't not change. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. World design, probably. You know what? We can. Okay. Just take all that down a notch. Alright. 
The development of your first game is now complete. You can press the finish button to publish your game, but you should only do that once you fix the majority of the bugs. Alright, let's release it. Create a game with a good topic genre combination. Hmm. Your game will be handed off to publishing. We should see reviews and sales coming in for the game soon. Alright, so I spent roughly 20k on this game. Alright, the first reviews came in. And hey, okay. Okay, a five. And another eight. Okay. So that average is out to be 6.75. Just doing math in my head a little bit. After publishing a game, you can invest a little bit of time to analyze your creation and generate a game report. Game reports are a great way to gain research points as well as valuable insights as to what works and doesn't work. Whoa! Whoa! Number 25! Wow! Now that your game is on sale, you receive the income from the game every week. You can see how well your game is doing by looking at the sales graph in the top right of the screen. Yeah, I see that. It was so successful that we now have 29 fans. Nice okay. cake. So, oh, you're telling me, out of the near 4,000 people that bought this, 29 of these are now, like... Like, we love these guys. Alright. Uh, new... Topic. Ooh! Time travel. Time travel, bruh. Gonna research time travel, see how that goes. So I've been doing this for about... Five months almost. Yep, yep, look at that. Five months I've been a game developer. My, how time flies. Research complete. You successfully researched time travel. Okay. So I guess I should start developing a new game. Alright, I want to make this time travel game, bruh. Genre. Adventure. Oh, what should I, though? Mmm. Make it for the G64. But I want something that I can make text-based. You can't do that with time travel. Well, you can do 2D, 2D graphics for V1. But we can make it an adventure game. Alright, we're going to call this one... Um, we're going to make this one... Start the clock! Yes, I love it. 2D graphics V1, start development. Start the clock. This looks like a race against time kind of a thing. Alright, engine needs to come up a little bit. Stories and quests, not so much. Uh, well, I don't know. Actually, yeah, kind of do need a bit more story. And a bit more engine. Okay. Game off the market. Ninja Werewolf is now off the market. It sold 9,000 units, generating $69,000 in sales. Good lord almighty. Okay, okay. Um, artificial intelligence, probably not as much. Level design, yes. Dialogues, yes. Mm, probably a little bit more of both of those. Okay, got 22 research points still. Um, world is, uh, we can leave all that alone. Yeah, we can leave all that alone. That, that looks all just fine. Recent studies suggest that the G64 is steadily outselling competitors in the PC sector. Consumers prefer the lower price, greater availability, and flexible hardware configuration. That's fine. Experts say that this might spell the end of competing hardware manufacturers. Except it doesn't. Nintendo came out on top. Alright, let's get rid of those bugs and finish. Got 10 and 13. Ooh, I got a new record over here in design. Neato. 
Alright. Alright, the first review is... First review is for start the clock. Six. Okay, six. Five. Okay. Four. Okay. So I, I, I got middle of the road. Okay, so second week did a little bit better. Did a little bit better the second week. And of course it just steadily goes down. According to rumors, the Japanese company Ninvento is planning to launch its very own home gaming console. Ninvento is known for its successful arcade game Dinky King. That's neat. Time travel and adventure is a great combination. Gameplay does not seem to be very important. Okay. Start the clock is now off the market. It's sold 29 units, generating 65. 051 is sales. On airplanes. It's gonna be a simulation. And we're gonna do it for the G64 again. We're gonna call this one Sky High because that seems cool. Uh, 2DV1, obviously. Alright. Two bugs in just making the title. That's amazing. Alright, we don't need stories. Uh, we need gameplay and we need engine. Today, Nintendo has confirmed rumors and has announced their plans to release a new game console called the TESS next year. The console features cartilage based games and a uniquely designed controller. Yeah, that looks rather unique, I'd say. Um, dialogues probably don't need a lot. Artificial intelligence, maybe. Level design, big yes. Alright, I'm not getting very technolo many technology points. Alright, well design, yes. Graphic, yes. Sound, no. Okay. First reviews. Oh, here we go, baby. Oh, here we go, baby. Oh, this isn't good. Five? Oh, no. Okay. And good focus on gameplay. See, that's what I was... I knew that that gameplay would come in handy. Alright. Wow, we're 35th. Contracts have now been unlocked. To see available contracts, close this message. Alright, I got my research. I'm happy now. Today the new platform by NES was released. Well, can I make games for it? Alright, here we go. Airplane is a great... Okay, there we go. Gameplay is very important. Alright, so maybe knock down the other two aspects next time. I'm gonna make a sequel on it, guys. Don't worry. You can now create your own game engines. New research available. Game tutorials. You have successfully researched custom game engine. Alright, let's create ourselves an engine. Alright, we're going to call this engine the... Uh, what are we going to call this engine? Catch! That's awesome. Um, we can make a linear story and save game. We can do that. Oh, whoa. That was not a good idea. Um, I think the bank just kind of dropped in and said, hey, you don't have money. I can do that. Oh, except I might not be able to. Oh, wait, no, I got it. I got it. It's fine. Don't even worry about it. Wait. Well done. We will transfer 16k into your account. Do that, please. Okay, thank you. Let's do just a few more of these. Kind of screwed. <laughs> Oh my gosh, hurry up. The time is almost out. Oh, well, no. That didn't work. You didn't complete the contract on time. 5k. Okay. And it's gonna be a simulation. It's gonna be T. Uh, no. Frick no. Uh, it's gonna be my cash engine. Uh, 
game four. Um, Stratosphere. Can't spell. Stratosphere. Except I don't even have enough money to do this. You will go bankrupt if I go below 50k. Okay, that's, that's fine. New record. Alright, engine level 2. Loving it. It's great. Wonderful. Alright, please be good. Oh, that's not a good review. Oh. I'm in trouble. Oh my lord, this was terrible. I should have just. Ugh. Neato. Thank you for the quick work. Transfer 24k. Contract work. Uh, whoa. Probably can't do that. But I can do that. I think. Oh, come on, technology. Oh, come on, technology. Come on, there's only five left. Why are you stopped? Develop new game. Alright, we're going ballsy on this. We're not doing a werewolf. We're gonna do zombies. We're gonna do an RPG. And we're gonna do... PC. And we're gonna make it on my cash engine. And we're not gonna call it game number five. We're gonna call it Bite. That looks cool. Yeah. Uh, engine no gameplay. We'll make it a nice even amongst the all of all of them. Yes, level design. No. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about this. World design, no. Graphics, no. Eh, we can do a little bit less of that. Alright. Alright. Alright, I live it up in sound. Alright, release it. Mono sound. Really? That's freaking great. Alright, new reviews. Come on, do me proud reviews. Abysmal waste of money. Casual games, that's nice. So I'm gonna leave this video here. We'll see next time if I can get myself out of this hole and become the greatest game developer that ever existed. Until then, I'll see you guys later. Bye bye!